Got a new X-Ray app for my phone. Hey Power Director peeps, it's Tablet Tuesday. So you know what that means. It's time for me to show you how to do the X-Ray effect using the Power Director Mobile, Android, and iOS video editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director Mobile. The X-Ray effect is an awesome effect that uses the chroma key to make it look like your phone can do X-rays. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the X-Ray effect for your videos. Let's take a sneak peek at what it's going to look like. Let's get bony. The first thing you need is to place a green image on the camera roll of your smartphone, pull up that picture of the green image on your phone, and then film yourself waving your phone over whatever it is you want to make an x-ray of. Next you need to add that footage that you shoot to an overlay track. So you want to tap on the overlay icon, you want to tap on video, you want to tap on the location where the video is at on your device. You want to tap on the footage and you want to tap the plus sign to add it to the overlay track. Then you want to tap back and you want to tap back. Next, you want to go ahead and pinch out this video so it fills up the screen. So you want to tap on the clip on the track and then you want to place two fingers over it and you want to drag them out or pinch them out. Here's what the footage looks like when you're done. The next thing that you need to do is add the x-ray image to an overlay track below the footage of you waving your phone around. So you want to tap on the overlay icon. You want to tap on the image icon. You want to go to the location on your device where your image is and tap on that. Then you want to tap on the actual image and tap the plus sign and it will add it to the overlay track beneath the video footage. Then you want to tap back and you want to tap back. The image that I have, I got for free at pixabay.com. The link is in the video description. Now you want the image to be the same duration as the video. So you want to tap on the image on the overlay track. And then you want to hold your finger over a node and drag it out until it is the same length. You want to move your playhead back to the beginning. Now you want to be able to see the image and the video at the same time. So in order to do that, you're going to have to use opacity. So you want to tap on the image on the overlay track. You want to tap on the edit icon and you want to tap on opacity and you want to change your opacity to whatever you want. I'm going to move mine to about 50%. Now that I can see the image and the video, I'm going to tap on back. I shot my footage pretending to x-ray my left hand. Now, if you use your other hand, then you may need to flip the footage around. So in order to do that, you want to tap on the edit icon, then you can tap on flip and you'll see that it flips the image around. I don't need mine flipped, so I'm going to flip it back to the way it was. But now that I can see the video and the image, I can place the x-ray hand right over my hand. So I'm just going to hold my finger over the image and I'm going to drag it over here. Then I can use the rotate icon on the bottom right to rotate it. And I can also use it to drag up the size here. But if you needed to, you can make more adjustments and make it perfect so that it would be right over where your fingers are. Now that I have it in place, I can move my opacity back up. So I'm going to tap on opacity move it back up to a hundred percent and I'm going to tap back and I'm going to tap back again. Now we need to add the chroma key effect to the footage that we shot. But before we do that, we have to rearrange and move the clips to the opposite tracks. So basically the footage needs to be on overlay track two and the image needs to be on overlay track one. The reason why we did it this way first is because we had to see the image of the hand and we wouldn't have been able to if the hand was on overlay track one. In order for the chroma key effect to work, the hand has to be on overlay track one and the green screen footage has to be on overlay track two. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. So what we're going to do first is we're going to tap on the green screen footage. Then we're going to hold our finger on it until it turns yellow. And you see that yellow border, then you can move it. So I'm going to move it over and down. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and tap on the image of the hand. I'm going to hold my finger over that until I see that yellow border. I'm going to drag it up. And I'm going to do the same thing with the green screen footage and I'm going to drag it over. And now everything is in the place that I need it to be at in order to enable the chroma key. So we're going to move the playhead to a position where we can see the green screen on the phone. So now we're going to tap on the green screen footage. We're going to tap on the edit icon. You want to tap on chroma key. Then you want to tap on the eyedropper. You want to tap on the green. And then you want to adjust your color range and denoise to whatever settings that you feel works best for you. And once you're done, you want to tap back and you want to tap back. Now that you got that all set up, you can actually see the skeleton coming through the phone. So when you wave the phone over the hand, you'll see the skeletal image. Now, if you want to use sound effects, you can add them at this point. I actually took two clips from digitaljuice.com and I put them together to make an x-ray sound effect. Um, if you can find good sound effects, other, other places online, great. Grab those, put them on your device and use those. There's also a bunch of free sound effects that come with PowerDirector Mobile. So if you find some sound effects there that you want to use, you can use those as well. I'm going to use the one that I created. So what I'm going to do to add the sound is I'm going to place my playhead all the way at the beginning. Then I'm going to tap on the media icon. I'm going to tap on music. I'm going to tap on sound effects. I'm going to tap on the sound effect I want to use. And I'm going to tap on the plus sign. And it'll add it to one of the music tracks. I'm going to tap back. And I'm going to tap back. Now, I want to make sure that the sound comes in at the right time. I don't want it just to start off like right when a video plays, I want it to start when the phone comes on the screen and I want the sound to stop when the phone leaves the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch out my timeline so I can see more frames and I'm going to place two fingers together and I'm gonna move them left and right at the same time and that will stretch out my timeline for me. Then I'm gonna tap on the X-ray sound effect. I'm gonna hold my finger over this front node to trim it and I'm gonna move it to the right and when I see the phone come onto the screen, I'll probably stop it right there and move it one frame back and stop it. So that looks good there. So I let go. And now that's where the sound is going to start, right where the phone comes onto the screen. So now I'm going to move my playhead to where the phone is, leaves the screen. And that looks good there. I'm going to tap on the sound effect. I'm going to tap on the split icon. I'm going to tap on the end of the sound effect and I'm going to tap on the trash bin to get rid of it. And it actually looks like the image is a few frames short. So I'm just going to tap on it, hold my finger over this node and drag it out and it should snap into place. And now they're the same length. Now I'm going to tap on the sound effect again. And I want it to fade in and fade out. So in order to do that, I'm going to tap on the edit icon. I'm going to tap on volume. I'm going to enable fade in and I'm going to enable fade out. Then I'm going to tap on OK. I'm going to go ahead and bring my timeline back in. Move my playhead to the beginning. And now we can watch the X-Ray Masterpiece de Resistance by tapping on play. X-Ray Vision, baby. If you decide that you like what the Power Director Video Editor app can do and you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.